Okay guys, today's test drive is a 1970 Chevelle. We're gonna be taking it down the road and seeing how it runs and drives. This one here has got a 400 under the hood. Looks like it's also got the power steering set up. So you don't have any AC on this one. So we're glancing around this engine bay here. Fenders are nice and clean. Looks like they had a stereo in it at one point. It was hooked up. This one does have drum brakes all the way around. But what I like to do is take it down the road, see how it runs, it drives. Let you know everything about this car in two videos. That way when you get here, there won't be no surprises. Check us out at maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available. 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior, check everything out. I did let it sit here and warm up for a little while. The engine temp came up. Oil pressure gauge is working. Bolts are set up as well. Let's see if the blower motor cuts on. I know we don't have AC. It is on, the blowing from the floor. So we should have some heat coming in. Wipers, they do work. Uh, it's got a cloth seat and a vinyl seat in the front. Package tray is a little bit wavy back there. As you can see. Your panels on the corners here, it looks like they got a little bit of uh, slack in them. Need to be tightened up. They're not ripped. So that's on both sides. And the corner of the headliner is kind of the same way, but majority of it looks good. We're definitely gonna get gas. It looks like we're on E right now. They always leave us with no gas. It's probably due to transport, but let's try the radio. We haven't tried it yet. Let's see if we've got some tunes. Not hearing any tunes coming out of here, so that is an older radio there. We'll cut it back off. Horn, are you ready? Let's try it. No horn on this one. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives now. Okay, I'm getting all set up here. I was looking around for the other end of the seat belt and I guess they had it taken out probably when they switched the seat. So we're gonna have to have that added. Of course, if you want seat belts, it's probably a good option there. <laughs> but what it is, is I tell you everything that these cars are missing or is wrong. That way you know what you're buying when you get here. We don't actually work on them. We get them in, clean them up, test drive them, and then I come in here and do my review videos. And when I'm doing these videos, it's actually the first time I've ever driven this car. So I'm learning about it with you. Here we go. So the speedometer is coming up on the dash. The car does have a pull to the left. As soon as I let go, it's pretty significant. They are drum brakes, so it probably picked up some dust. We'll manually shift it and see what we got here. A little hesitation there. Parks the tires, shift kit. And it parked the tires again for third. And that's not me getting in the gas. It's just holding a steady throttle there. But like I said, with the brakes, they are drums, so they can pick up some dust sitting in the parking lot back there. Sometimes that causes one of them to act up. Knock that dust off by riding the brakes for a second. Try them again. Stop it good. Now I got people coming up on me. I don't want to wreck nobody. Turn signal's coming up. I'll try that other one here in just a second when we get this parking lot. Let's check it out. It is popping up. On both sides, you're missing your little green arrow on this side. But somebody took our spot. They took our spot. 
other side. It's all all right. So yeah, I'm gonna pull in here. I'm gonna get about $20 worth of fuel. Just kind of checking everything. Engine temperature came back down to 160. Car sounds great. Let's get some fuel and we'll see if this gas gauge works. All right, I got some fuel in this ride now. We're gonna check this gas gauge out. On this car here, the uh, gas tank is right here behind the tag. Let's see if it works. It's all right. Gas gauge on this one is already up. It was on E. Now it's right at half the tank. We're good to go. Let's keep on rolling. Okay, so I noticed this battery is just dragging. It was from like early 2018. I'm going to get a new one. I'm gonna get a new one before I do my walk around video. Put a nice fresh battery in here. Uh, anytime I see them doing that, that's usually what I do. Usually do it after the video, but like I said, I'm, I'm gonna do it now. So let's run over to AutoZone and get us a battery. The vitals are great. The car's been sitting in the parking lot running for a little while as I was doing my outside footage. Um, engine temp never got over 190. And we're good to go. We'll take a left turn here. Why not? Actually, nobody's coming. I'm going to go right. Just remember the back way. pretty quick I'll notice that after we get the battery and stuff we'll hit the back road over there and I'll show you what I mean it's got plenty of power very low gear which means you're probably only gonna want to go about 55 60 mile an hour on the highway don't want to push it more than that you'll start getting the R's up 
usually if you're riding a long distance you want to keep it around three grand okay Let's see if we can cut through over here one more street up I haven't been down this road in a while The whole family in the front yard. <laughs> I don't know, they messed this road up. Probably shouldn't have came down it. zones right up here on the right we'll go back the main strip when we leave here okay let's get us a battery i'll see y'all here in a minute okay so out with the old in with the new got us a nice ac delco and we'll head on down the road. Good deal. Okay, we're gonna head on back to the car a lot now. Well, I got all this stuff in my pocket here. I'll have to clean it out when I get back. Let me get the keys out of here. Good deal. Much better. Much, much better. Starts right up now. Cool. So we're gonna roll out of here, head on back to the lot, and I'll pull next door and do my outside walk around video. Point out any kind of flaws on the paint and body. We should be good to go here. Still gonna go the back road because you see this is why I don't travel Main Street here. It's a constant uh 30, 40 mile an hour, that's it. Keep adjusting this mirror, it's kind of loose. It needs to be tightened up. Same with this one, this one's a little loose too. Same thing happens in a bunch of these old cars. Little screws and stuff work themselves out. Just needs to be retightened. gears she started spinning right there did y'all see that she definitely got a gear in her charge the tires I'm not in the throttle at all hardly just kind of filling it out this car has got some pep does have that pull to the left see how I let go of the steering wheel it's definitely
halfway pulling. Suspension on this thing feels awesome as well. It's nice and smooth. The old speed bump that used to be right here. It's a lot smaller now, but. Okay, so we're coming up to the car lot now. I want you to check out maplemotors.com if you need to get finance, if you need shipping information. You can get all hooked up on there with the detailed pictures that we have provided for you. And you can see all of our inventory. And we do update that every Monday with new cars to make it easy. That way you don't have to check every day. So you can see what we get every single Monday. All right. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. We post videos daily. I'm sure you see that all over YouTube. Everybody's telling you to subscribe. So y'all know how to do it. Anytime I post a car, it will pop up as long as you hit that notification bell. It's all our personals. So don't call on any of these. I'll let you know which ones are for sale. Okay, I'm gonna start on the uh, the walk around video, which is gonna go over the outside of the car, check out the interior, and uh, anything else that we missed will be covered in that. So watch both of them if you're interested in this 70 Chevelle. Appreciate you watching, and thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.